Uh, hello, I'm Sanjay Arawadi from Amherst, uh, and I'd like first to thank you guys for having this hearing and uh, say that I appreciate the challenges you face in managing intensive use of this land by many different user groups. It's a difficult problem that you face. Um, the cross-country running race on Tuesday nights is an integral part of the community. Uh, I've been in the area for 10 years now. When I try to get people to move to the area, it's one of the things I always talk about. And when I tell people how wonderful it is to live in the area, it's always one of the things that I talk about. Opportunities in today's society for people from the age of five to 70, 80, and sometimes even above, to get together in an informal, low, and, mu and sometimes no-cost environment and enjoy themselves outdoors are very rare. And I urge you to do everything you can to preserve that opportunity for the local community. I hope also that you'll be careful in trying to differentiate between the different uh, user groups of the area, recreational user groups of the area, the runners, uh, the orienteers, uh, which have much in common, the dog walkers who use leashes assiduously and the dog walkers who choose not to use leashes assiduously. Uh, they each have very different impacts on the land and very different modes of use and uh, records of behavior, I would say. And I'd like to close by saying that Don and Sue Grant have provided over the last uh, almost three decades now, uh, along with their volunteers in the Sugarloaf, Mount Sugarloaf Mountain Athletic Club, a perfect example of how people can use land in ways that are fun, recreational, healthy, and yet consistent with the enjoyment of other users of the land. Thank you.